Hey everybody, it's Craig with Smartphone Me, and today we're going to take a look at HTC's Aria, just released on the AT&T network. It's a quad band GSM phone, dual band 3G, phone weighs in at 107 grams, so it's very light. Build quality is typical HTC, high grade plastic here on the front, real nice soft rubberized texture coating on the sides and back so it feels very nice in your hand, and just some uh, nice chrome accents as well, but the phone feels very solid. Next to the HTC Incredible, just to give you a little size comparison, you can see that the Aria is a bit shorter, width-wise, not quite as wide and thickness-wise, just about the same. Take a quick look around the Aria on the bottom is a micro USB port along with the microphone. On the left-hand side, your volume rocker up and down. On top is a 3.5mm headphone jack along with the power and lock key. On the back of the phone is a 5 megapixel camera with geotagging, autofocus, and face detection. It's also video capable. Underneath the battery cover is a 1200 milliamp battery along with the SIM card slot and the micro SD card slot. Micro SD cards can be replaced without having to remove the battery. The display on the front is a 3.2 inch TFT capacitive touch display showing 320 by 40 pixels. has an accelerometer sensor as well as a proximity sensor. Just below the screen are the four typical Android keys, touch sensitive search key, back key, main menu key, and home key, as well as HTC's optical trackball navigation. The phone comes with 512 megabytes of ROM, 384 megabytes of RAM. You can expand memory an additional 32 gigabytes through micro SD cards. The phone actually comes with a 2 gigabyte micro SD card. The phone offers Wi Fi B and G. Bluetooth version 2.1 with A2DP. Phone has GPS and supports AGPS. Phone runs on a Qualcomm MSM 7227 600 MHz processor. The operating system is Android 2.1 Eclair with HTC Sense UI overlay. All right, let's take a little closer look at the user interface on the HTC Aria. Again, it runs Android 2.1 Eclair with HTC Sense UI overlay. And basically what that means is you're gonna get seven different panels that you can customize either using HTC widgets or Android widgets, bookmarks, contact information, folders, or application shortcuts. Now to add a widget, very simply just hold down on the screen. The menu will pop up. We'll pick widgets. We'll pick the HTC calendar widget, and we're gonna get a couple different choices, month view, agenda view, as well as a day view. Let's add the month view, hit select. And there we go, we added the month widget. Now to remove a widget, simply hold your finger down on it until you feel the haptic feedback. And then slide down to the bottom when it turns red, let go, and it's gone. Now you've got your keys down here at the bottom, search key, back key, main menu key, and home key. And the home key serves a couple of purposes. Obviously it gets you back to your home screen. Tapping on it again will give you an overview of all the seven different panels. Tapping on one of those will take you directly to that panel to get back to the overview, squeeze it together and you've got your seven panel overview and we'll go back to the home screen. Home key also acts as a task key. Simply holding down the home screen will bring up the last six applications you've used. Tap on settings, it'll take, take us directly to it. Again, tap on the home screen, it'll bring us home. Phone also has a notification bar up here at the top. Simply sliding down, we'll open that up. You can see I've got five unread messages. I can either tap on that to go directly to them or I can hit clear to clear that and deal with it later. To close the notification bar, simply slide up from the bottom to close it. Also, your main menu key down here in the lower left hand corner, you've got a number of additional AT&T applications you typically don't see on an Android phone since this is an AT&T phone. You've got AT&T Family Map, Hotspots, so you can use this phone as an internet connection for other uh, devices. AT&T Maps, AT&T Navigator, which we'll look at in a little bit and AT&T Radio. It also comes with Mobi TV, which I was going to show you, but hooking it up one time used up my five minutes, so I'm afraid we're not going to be able to take a look at that. Sorry to say. Let's take a look at the uh, messaging for a second, so you can take a look at the keyboard. First, in portrait mode. There you go. It's small, but functional. I didn't have too much problem with it. And let's take a look at it in landscape as well. Come on, baby. Talk to me. There we go. So I find it worked pretty well. So that gives you a look, and again, uh, under menu, you've got smileys and all that good stuff. So we'll insert a smiley, do a little winking, and we go, well, let's send. 
So that's a look at the messaging application. Let's take a look at YouTube. And again, you can watch these videos in HQ, so looks pretty good. There we go. So that's YouTube. Let's take a look at the AT&T Navigator. And it does give you turn-by-turn -turn directions. If you've been on Sprint, you'll recognize this menu. It's the same one used by the uh, Sprint. It says speak it or type it. I've tried speak it a few times and have had no luck. And all I've been saying is Starbucks and I can't seem to get it. So maybe it's my accent. So we'll type in Starbucks. It's already happened once. Let's search. We should get multiple results. Here we go. We'll pick the top one, which is the closest, and we'll drive to it. So you can see the AT&T Navigator works just great. And again, you get voice turn-by-turn -turn directions with that. So we'll get out of there. Let's take a look at a couple of photos real quick. Because so I was impressed by the camera. I thought it did a pretty good job. Morse P photos. Here we go. Back to photos. Let's see. I think we're still on video. Okay, here we go. It's a photo I took outdoors. And again, it's got multi-touch. And you can double tap to zoom in as well. But I thought it did a pretty decent job for a 5 megapixel camera. Again, with decent light, most cameras work pretty well. But colors are pretty rich. It's an indoor shot of my keyboard. And again, this phone does not have a flash, but that looks pretty decent for indoor under... Uh, normal lighting conditions indoor. Uh, here's a little bit of a video, nothing fancy. Quality's not too bad. Didn't knock me out, but it wasn't bad at all. Uh, let's take a look at the uh, web browser. And let's launch something. Bookmarks. CNN. It's pretty quick. Again, I'm using this off uh, my home internet. I've also got the screen turned up as bright as it will go, just so you know. And uh, again, you can zoom in and it's got multi-touch for zooming in. You can double tap to zoom in. Use multi-touch to make it larger. And again, it reformats it to fit the screen, which makes a lot of sense to me and zoom out anyway there's a look at the HTC Aria just coming out on AT&T yesterday I hope that's been helpful take care